Look how pretty. I'm back here in the back corner of the garden because at one point during the week, after dark, I pulled up a whole bunch of old um, path liner because it's not something I want to use anymore. And I'm just kind of working on removing the stuff that's in especially bad shape first. It's quite the project to get it out. But we've been above freezing. You can see it's like pinned down and everything, right? But you know, it's nice to nice to get it pretty well removed. You can also see like the mycelium's doing really well here. And this was an installment. It didn't fruit last year, which was its first year, so it hasn't fruited yet. But that mycelium should be wine cap. Should be. No guarantees. Um, so my goal here. So I looked up on Young's, Jung's, however you say it, J-U-N-G-S's seed catalog website when I should be expecting delivery. And, of course, the persimmon's going to go here. And we've got this big dent where I dug out the pear that I then bare root transplanted. It looks fine so far, but, you know, spring will tell. Uh, so I just have this big dent. Not really a hole for a plant, but just like a, a depressed area in the ground. So my thought is... I want to make another water sink through here, move a whole bunch of dirt up into here. And there are other places I need dirt. And that is especially, <clears throat> excuse me, that is especially here. Because I am <clears throat> working on making a raised bed garden and I'm not going to import dirt, heck no. I'm trying to make all my fertility on site, so we'll see well, it's going okay so far. I mean, it's not excellent, but it's pretty good. And as you can see, we got two layers of tires as a goal on this side, but all of these are one layer of tires. And we have overwintering onions in these tires, and I would need to, of course, transplant those, because uh, those are perennial. Those are Egyptian walking onions. And, um... Put in a first get more dirt on top of those because they're countersunk because then you water them and it stays in there it's a really nice watering system this one i didn't get enough dirt to fill it in so a lot of the dirt that is in here is from digging out the two and a half three foot pits that are underneath the wood chips here and that's kind of the goal over there I can go really deep over here because I know for heckin' sure that there are no pipes over here. Throughout this range, somewhere th somewhere through here, my water pipes come through. So I wanted to be real conservative about where I was digging with that or at least the depth. Just kind of keep it to a minimum, you know, not really go three feet the whole length. Um, <clears throat> I do want to go a little lower the whole length, but... Also, it's not really that necessary. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is get, get set to digging and start moving a whole bunch of dirt into there. And then bring over some of the wood chips because, uh, you know, if you haven't been here for a, recently, you might not know that I pretty constantly have a wood chip pile for the last well, year. Uh, hike whale. The door is closed, so there's not a cat on top of it, because it's actually only uh, 41, which is like 6 degrees Celsius. Thank goodness for that circly thing. I wouldn't know without it. And here is the wood chips. So that's a lot, and several logs from the time I got wood chips and logs. So that's good to know, right? And... This portion and this part on top is all, uh, the top bit here is all pine, and this is mostly pine, and then it's maple in a stripe like this. So I'm kind of thinking I might get up there and start pulling this in this direction <coughs> so that I can separate it out a little bit better. 
but the underneath layer here and my method for pulling out wood chips is to stick a fork um, like a spading fork not a pitchfork in pull it out and then against the cement the snow shovel picks up real well so I just make like a thin layer and snow shovel it then I have a wagon that has a couple of old recycling bins on top that fit perfectly and I fill those up and yeah so it's it's not exactly a traditional method right but it's very functional so that's the plan and I think I'll go with uh, a bit of Oh, that's such a cool tree. I think I will go with a bit of um, fast mode to show me working on it. And uh, I'll keep you updated. All right. Thanks so much for visiting this cliffside. What you're all about to watch is and fast forward. This is, as, uh, yeah, that's permaculture mushrooms soon hopefully take care here comes some music Thank you.